Hello and welcome to the Mobile Youth Show. I'm your host, Freddie Benjamin, and today we're going to talk about Facebook versus Twitter versus Instagram. Which one of these three do teens prefer most? Well, a recent survey done among teens in the United States asked them to rank their top three social networks. The choices provided were Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, Tumblr, Pinterest, and LinkedIn. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram were the three most likely social networks to feature in the top three. 43% of teens ranked Facebook as a number one choice. When followed by Twitter, 28% ranked them ranked Twitter as number one. And Instagram, 12% of teens ranked Instagram as the number one. So the clear winner here seems to be Facebook, right? Well, not so fast. Uh, another study, a longitudinal study done by Pingdom, over the last two years found that Facebook users were getting older while Twitter users were getting younger. In other words, parents have been joining Facebook and teens have been joining Twitter. So in the last two years, teen Twitter users doubled from 8% to 16%. Now, this does not mean that teens are abandoning Facebook. They just split that online time between Facebook and Twitter. Teens not only perceive Facebook and Twitter as two different social platforms, they use it differently. A 17-year-old teenager from North Carolina, Manu, says, Facebook is like yelling at a crowd, but Twitter is like talking in a room. What Manu is talking about here is the difference between open and discrete networks. Now, open networks like Facebook are for all to see. Friends, parents, teachers, even future employers. But with discrete networks like Twitter, teens more often than not lock their accounts, giving access to only a select group of friends. Sure, Facebook has lots of features to control privacy, but no teen wants to be seen as the one who has something to hide on Facebook. But the same behavior is considered okay on Twitter. Additionally, Twitter allows for anonymity. Teens do not have to use their names to create the account. This allows them to operate underneath the radar of parents and teachers. Then comes Instagram. It used to be a photo sharing app. Then in July of 2012, 1 million teens downloaded the app on their smartphones and started sharing pictures. First of themselves, then screenshots of notes that had text similar to what they would have posted as a Facebook status update. Instagram was now a social network and not just a photo sharing app anymore. Once again, this does not mean teens are abandoning Facebook or Twitter. Pew Research tells us that the most popular activity for teens in social networks is to post images and videos. Twitter isn't the most image or video friendly network. Facebook is constantly watched over by parents and teachers. So the natural next step for teens was to join Instagram. So to answer the initial question I posed, what do teens prefer most, Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram? It's really all three of them together. They need Facebook as the equivalent of publishing their autobiography to the world. This is where teens post about the national championship they won. They also need Twitter as the equivalent of having that secret diary you would allow only your closest friends to read. This is where teens post more emotional content, how they feel after a breakup, their latest crush, and so on. Finally, they need Instagram as well. It's the equivalent of the visual scrapbook teens create over summer holidays and then share it with their friends back in school. The only difference, now they can do that in real time. In summary, teens prefer Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram because all three of them fulfill the need to belong and be significant in their own unique ways. So don't be surprised if teens find a way to meet those needs with Google Plus and LinkedIn in the future. That is all the time we have for today. Thank you for listening. Join us again tomorrow for more insights into youth and mobile culture. Or visit us on www.mobileyouth.org.